All right, so I've already made the Z-Tube, the RAM intake, and the air box, just because those are going to be the easier parts. They turned out really well. I'm super pleased with how everything looks. So let's get started on the plan. All right, so now that I've got the other three parts made, we're going to have to start on the most difficult of the four, the plenum itself. This is going to be the hard part, is connecting this tube section with the main part of the plenum and not having this be a weak point. I'm also concerned with making sure I get good clean lines under the neck here so that this can seal to the lower plenum and this has a nice smooth transition. I also need to make sure that this section of the neck is extremely strong because that's what the throttle body will be mounting to. I need to get a lot of extra vacuum bag in here so it can pull into this gap, hold the back of the plenum tight, press down our mounting surface, not bond these two surfaces together, and then give us a nice mounting point for the throttle body. It doesn't have to come all the way to the end. If the end here is weak, I'm gonna cut it back about an inch anyway, but not a whole lot of clearance here. So. All right, so for our base, we're using what I believe is an old storm door. So the glass will provide a nice smooth surface. It won't stick to anything. Got an outline of where the plenum gasket would go. I should have the flange way past where this is, but just in case there's somewhere that's not covered, I can see where I need to add more material. Got this stuck down so it won't move. Got all of our carbon templates laid out over here. So just the way they are here, pick it up, put it down on the part. Got scraps over there for strengthening the flange and missed places. Have the breather, the peel ply, and the vacuum bag itself ready to go. Got my tacky tape down with some extra tabs so we can make some pleats. And I have to get the bag to not only stretch over the shape itself, but get into these cracks here to really hold this tight. I've already put on the mold release wax, and we've got the first layer of PVA release on. What it does is it creates a release film between the mold and the carbon. It makes it really easy to pop the mold out of the carbon once it's done. I suspect with the neck, I'm gonna have to destroy. I think it's gonna break off right here and I'm just gonna have to root it out with a screwdriver. But this main section, I think is just gonna pop out in one piece pretty easy. I'm gonna do one more coat of PVA, mix up all of our resin and we'll get started. One easy way to measure out the resin is to measure it out with water first using cooking measuring cups. So for this time, I filled in one cup of water and drew the bottom line and then a third of a cup for the second line because my resin is three to one mixing ratio. So just wipe the cup out, get rid of all the water and you'll have the exact amount every time. Four finished parts. We have our RAM intake, our 
air box with our inline cone filter already installed. I left the Z tube long because we'll have to cut it down once everything's installed in the car. And then our finished plenum. Now you can tell the plenum has had the same finish work as the other three parts. We're going to go over that in the next video. So sanding down all these rough parts and then giving it one more coat of resin. I also have to work on the neck. I had to cut it down more like the stock one because I just couldn't quite get this to work. But yeah, we'll go over all that in part four. Check out part one and part two. Hit that subscribe button down in the bottom. And I will see you guys next week.